Hey everyone, welcome to the GRE how-to series where we make studying for the GRE a lot more tolerable. Today we're gonna to talk about the four things you need to know when you're dealing with questions that have to do with arcs. Welcome back, I hope things are going well. I personally took a little bit of a hiatus because as I mentioned in the last video, I just started a new job and it's pretty demanding. <laughs> um, but I'm so happy that we get to have this time together where we can talk some geometry. Like, we're gonna do it guys, like this is it. I have promised you that I was going to suck it up and start doing more geometry work so that I could get better at it and hopefully I could get better at talking about it. And today is the day. It turns out there's only four things that you ever need to know in life when it comes to solving any kind of problem that has to do with an arc. First is the, what is the first thing? The first thing is the radius. If you know the radius, you are, at least one half the way there in terms of getting the information you need to plug in to find out the answers to your question. The second thing you need to know is the angle in which the, in the pizza slice, let's just call it the pizza slice. The real, the real terminology is like the sector. So you've got like, you've got the circle, right? There's the, the center, we've got two lines, that little pizza slice is called a sector. So if you know the interior angle of that, that's really great because you need that and you need the radius in order to move on to the next step. Now, depending on what you're trying to find, if you're trying to find the length of the arc, then you only need one other thing and that is the circumference formula and get this if you're trying to find like let's say there's a question that says hey here's this shaded pizza slice what's the area of the pizza slice again all you need is the radius the interior angle and get this the area formula for a circle. The reason why I'm acting like this is because it's just like, I have spent so much time being intimidated by arcs and I only needed to know two more bits of information to be able to conquer these things. Like, it's like mind blowingly interesting, you know? Like, I think that if you're like me, there's, there's certain elements of math that's intimidating. And the more that I dive into this for you all, the more I realize there's nothing to be afraid of. We are capable, we are competent. It's just all about trying to make sure that we're facing these things head on and doing what we need to do to retain the information to execute on the test. So let's practice, shall we? C marks the center of the circle and the radius is six. What is the length of the arc marked by D and F? So this is when we can get excited because we already know the radius and we know the interior angle. So all we need to do is pull out the circumference formula, two pi r, and multiply it by 60, the interior angle, over 360 degrees. Some things cancel out and we're left with two pi. Now it's good for him to just leave pi alone because we know that it is approximately 3.14. So if you're going to multiply two times three, we know that that equals six. So two times pi is going to be more than six. Oftentimes with the GRE, you don't even need to go that far. You just need to know that it's going to be more than six. Make sure that you click the answer that corresponds with that and move right along. That's it. It's a, uh, I'd love to be able to like talk you through the logic of why this is this, but I don't know it. Intuitively though, we are taking the piece and dividing it by the entire 360 degrees of a circle. So that must be what's helping us out a little bit to try to separate the, the piece of the pizza slice. Go to Einstein for the, for, for the theorems and all that stuff. 
come to me for breaking down the GRE concepts so that we can execute against them and do well. All right, cool. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you enjoyed getting one step closer to being proficient in the geometry question. If this video was helpful for you, give me a thumbs up. That would really help me out. And why don't you comment and you know let me know how you're doing. What are some scary things that you've been trying to kind of avoid that maybe I can help you face head on. This is an active exercise of me facing my fears. And I know that if we both do this together, we're gonna be way, way better off. I'll see you next time.